Hi, welcome back to our demonstration of uh, voice control for Sonos using Vox Commando. In the previous segment, I showed you how to quickly set up a new version of Vox Commando with the default commands and how to choose a, a text-to-speech voice and scan your music library so that Vox Commando knows what your Sonos has. After you've done that using Gen XML, you will need to rebuild your groups and the easiest way to do that is to just do a quick restart. So right now it's detected that nothing has changed. In the most recent version of the configuration that I'll be uploading after I record this video, the, that'll be done automatically actually when the Gen XML is finished. It will automatically rebuild the group, so you don't really need to worry about that. I think I'll just get right into it and show you some of the commands that you can use with the default configuration that we're shipping in version 2152 or later. Sonos Play Imported Playlist Favorites. Sonos Set Volume 25. Sonos Boost Volume by 10. Play song T-Shirt Dreams. Play album Buck Jones. Play radio station Gimme Indie. Reduce volume by 10. Pause playback. Ignore me. And so I've been switching between uh, pre prefix mode and regular mode. So now that I've told it to ignore me, I have to say the keyword in order for it to perform commands. So now start playback. Sonos play favorite just a few albums. Sonos, what time is it? It's 2.15. Sonos, play genre classical. You may notice that I have two Sonos players here, and so far I've just been controlling the office. But it's possible to change zones and, and control these separately, and it's also possible to create groups and manipulate the groups. So I'll demonstrate that now. And uh, after I've created the group, I'm going to click up here to so that you can see the volume for the group and the individual players. But um, none of this control that we're implementing actually uses this Sonos app. I'm simply using this so that you can see what's going on when we control the Sonos. Sonos start party mode. Sonos set zone office. Sonos set volume 10. Sonos increase group volume by 5. Sonos set zone playroom. Sonos set volume 10. Sonos set group volume 30. And now that we have a group, which is, I believe, controlled by the office, if we give a, a text-to-speech command to the office, it will play on both Sonoses. But if we send a text-to-speech command to the playroom, then it'll actually only play the text to speech on the player room and the music will keep playing in the office. So what it does is it actually takes the group apart and plays to the playroom and then puts the group back together again. So I'll um, get rid of this. And 
and uh, I'll, I'll retarget the playroom just to be safe and give a text to speech and you'll see what happens. Set zone playroom. Sorry. Sonos set zone playroom. Sonos, what time is it? It's 2.17. So that's pretty much everything I've got to show you for now. I guess oh, one quick one would be um, Sonos seek to 10%. Sonos seek to 50%. Sonos stop playback. There you go. So uh, lots of uh, fun stuff to get started with. There will be more updates and um, we'll probably work a little bit more on uh, finding ways to access different music services like Spotify, SoundCloud, and whatnot. Currently, you can still access any of those by using favorites. So if you have a, um, uh, for example, with Google Play Music, I have a favorite that allows me to access um, I'm Feeling Lucky. And um, you can do the same thing with any of the other services, but hopefully in the future we'll find some ways to do more specific things like play an album or do a search for certain artists on Spotify, that sort of thing. So stay tuned for more updates. Uh, please remember to like this video and to share it on your Facebook or your Google Plus to get the word out there. And uh, we'll see you on the forum. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.